Hey everybody, Malcus Outdoors, we're back from Christmas and we're gonna continue on, I wanna do another segment on, you know, traveling in your vehicle, sleeping in it and whatnot. We did the sleeping part. But the other key thing with that is like, having an emergency box of tools. I have emergency, bo uh, emergency equipment when it comes to blankets and fire starting stuff that I carry with me, especially out west. But no matter where you go, it's good to have tools and um, and spare parts for commonly um, common points of failure in your vehicle. So I'm gonna go over that right now. Um, it's really not that, it's not that hard to get set up for this and it will save you in the long run. I'm bouncing around here on this road, but it'll save you in the long run because there's been a number of times, I'll just go real quick. I've broke down from the tens of thousands of miles that I've driven over the, my lifetime or or more than that I don't know how many you know thousands of miles I've driven or you know the those trips those thousand mile trips those 2,000 miles back and forth trips um, and I've had breakdowns and there's a con there's common points of failure that I've seen th uh, th over the years on a number of vehicles and uh, you can mitigate a lot of this and get back up and running without having to wait for somebody to come and get you or spend the extra few hundred bucks or maybe even a thousand dollars when it comes to maybe a hotel stay maybe um or thousands of dollars a hotel stay a uh, guy that come and get you if you don't have triple a or something like that and then also um downtime all sorts of issues if you have these few things and you're ready to uh implement them then it can save you a lot of time and hassle and i've just learned these from over the years um and from failing myself and one time, okay, last one story before we go on there, one time I broke down on the border of New Mexico and Colorado and I had to hike into a town 18 miles to have signal. And back then I didn't really have, I don't know if I had, a, I don't think I had a cell phone at the time. I might've, I can't remember. It was, a, it was, I was getting out of the Marine Corps, hiked in the town to get this part that had gone out in the truck. I go and I get it. And then somebody actually gives me a ride to the edge of town and then I had to hike the rest of the way back. And I think it was a security yard only to get there to realize that I didn't have the right tool to install it. So then I hiked back and hike. It, it cost me a whole day. Um, and I had to sleep out there. Um, it, that's interesting, but, uh, that's, that's on a whole nother note, but that's like the worst case scenario. And you don't want to be out there, especially if you've got kids or whatever. You want to be able to fix your equipment or your truck or vehicle and then get back on the road or get to the lake or wherever you're going. So, uh, but I've had that happen a couple times, not where I've had to hike in there because eventually I'm like, well, you know, the, it seems this is the second time this has happened with this very, this part. So now I'm just, I keep that stuff in the truck and it's paid off a couple of times where I've had to, you know, um, go change something out real quick. But anyway, here we go. So when it comes to like having the proper tools for the road, unless you got a toolbox, which that's a good thing to have in your truck. Um, you're not gonna be able to carry everything. But there are some kits that are like super easy to carry that I slide underneath my <clears throat> back seat and uh, it doesn't take much space and they're comprehensive uh, for the most part. And what I what I do here, so I, you can get these deals too, like you go to Lowe's or Home Depot. Sometimes they have really good deals on toolkits. So the one that I got here is a Cobalt. I'm gonna show you that. <laughs> just a cobalt and has some Allen wrenches and three different uh, ratchet sets. Here, I'm gonna put this up. Not that you, uh, sorry for that view, but uh, three different ratchet sets, a few, you know, different hex things, a screwdriver. And um, this has helped me out numerous times, w whether it be the boat or, um, or the truck. I mean, and it's so easy to just to slide this underneath your underneath your um, your back seat, and uh, you're none the wiser. But with that, so there's a couple other things that I have um, along the lines of that. Is a, it's a ratchet set. So I got two. I got a metric and a um, standard because you just never know. But these have helped out. So these are my two tool kits. All right, two tool kits. I have ratchet sets, and then this. That's what I carry. And then one last thing if I even have it in here. I do have it somewhere. And it's a breaker bar. 
like either, you know, so, and I'm not going to tell you which one to get. That's why I just want to show you it right now. It's because, it, yeah, the breaker bar specifically is for um, doing tensioner pulleys. Uh, because, you, I mean, unless you can get your ratchet in there, you can use a ratchet in the, uh, if you have to. But this breaker bar thing, it really helps. Uh, it's a longer, you know, wrench that has just, a, you know, the, the, the male end of the first socket. So if, if it was me, so that's the goes to the next thing is what are the higher, um, the critical points of a vehicle that you, there will typically go out. Well, one of them went on the road that I've had multiple times is your tensioner pulley and your belt. So you always, I, it's easy to carry just a spare tensioner pulley and a serpentine belt. That will probably save you 75% of the time because that's a lot of times what will go out. And you usually can hear those, though you can hear that that uh, that bearing start to go out. But on long road trips, that, that tends to be one of those points of failure. So that's why you need that tensioner pulley. So you can pull back on that, on that, uh, <clears throat> or that's why you need that breaker bar. So you can pull back on that tensioner pulley and then be able to put on a new serpentine belt. The other thing that goes bad is maybe um, when you overheat your um, water, compressor or thermostat or something like that so that's where these kits go into other various little things you can do with these kits oil changes um if you happen to need one on the road which usually do that when you're at home but other little things that go wrong this kit should have you covered and even with the boat like i said i've changed out the uh, the which i had a video on that i used this kit to do the um and that and that breaker bar to do the lower unit or to change out the um, per, uh, propeller, impeller, I mean, um, change out of various things on there. But anyway, those are the tool kits that I have. And then, like I said, just you carry you have a spare ten, uh, ten, uh, tensioner pulley and serpentine belt. That will have you covered a lot of the uh, lot of the stuff that you can actually deal with on the road. I mean, sometimes I have even a hub kit, like in a way to break the hubs off these, these trucks. But, you know, once you're on that, down that road, uh, typically you're just need to get towed in. I mean, that's a pretty extensive job, at least on like a larger truck that we all like typic that we typically have. I had to do it on a 2,500 Dodge. And luckily I just got back to town cause I was thinking, Oh man, if this happened a few miles out from my house in, uh, back home in, in, in North Montana, that I'd have been screwed. You know, you'd had to get somebody to tow you in there, but I got it back to the house and that, cause that job was pretty intensive, even though I had the tools. Um, the other thing, okay, the last thing is, you know, cause you got flat tires, right? So you typically, you get the, um, whatever the truck comes with, you know, a little jack and it's not the greatest thing in the world, but it gets the job done in the circumstances. So I usually carry a piece of wood one to like raise it up if I need to. But the other thing that I carry, and I got three of them in the back of my truck, I'd say you just probably need one is a jack stand. And, uh, that helps out a lot, especially on your own, on your own. Like if, I use them for rotating tires myself, but when things go wrong or you're on the side of the road, cause you're not always on an even plane. So if you can jack stand or use the jack stand, one as a safety measure while you're changing out a tire, just in case your uh, jack fails, but two, it's just another way of securing the vehicle. Then if you have to somehow go and jack up the other side, um, it's that I've used that a number of times, like, especially for the flat tire, just that, or, on the boat, so your boat, sometimes it's really tough to deal with that. I had to do a wheel bearing in Florida um, while we were, uh, while I was down there for the MPFL, and I used those jack stands, or at least, uh, I used all of them, I mean, just to secure everything, because I was in a weird sloping parking lot, but if you just had one, you'd be good, and your jack. But that's the basis, and you know, you can get jack stands for, I know I'm just going off the wall, but you can get jack stands for pretty cheap, you look at Harbor Freight, right? but you want to make sure they're quality, two tons at least. I got one three ton and and, a, and two two tons, um, but that, those help out immensely. And then that you know that just flat piece of two by four that helps out a lot too in weird situations. But you know everything I just covered should cover you on the road for I'd say seventy five percent of the time when you have some kind of breakdown. Uh, on the road. And like I said, there's some other things that are a little more extensive. Um, the thermostat issue and all that other jazz, cause you're going to have to RTV around it. Uh, a lot of times, sometimes you don't, some vehicles, you don't have to do that, 
but still that's a tough gig because who's carrying around i mean i guess if you had water but there's and, and there's some other you know systemic problems that you're going to have to get towed but for the most part my experience on the road serpentine belt tensioner pulleys flat tires and you always carry a flat tire kit i've had to do that uh i don't know how many times you know a little punch one with the rubber thing save my bacon and then run in the the uh the spare as well make sure your spare tire is always filled up um because i've also been there too where the spare tire has been sitting there for years and the next thing you know it's like well it's not even close but you're you're also so you change it out you're also like 50 miles away from the nearest town which you i mean as long as there's some air that keeps the beat on there you can make it but those are things that i look but everything i've con gone over right now um that'll cover you that'll save your rear end in a number of a number of situations and it's just good to have it's peace of mind it's like i have this stuff and it's like if i because where i drive a lot of times it's very remote and uh it's good to have this kind of stuff i mean i've i even have oh the other thing last thing is i have a mallet and uh it's good to have a rubber one but i have a like a stake pounding hammer mallet and sometimes you got to beat stuff right so you use that you got to loosen stuff or whatnot that thing has saved me one you use it for whatever tent stakes and and uh whatever you know various things but that thing right there will uh will save you too on on some of course there's a lot of rusted stuff sometimes you actually let's say you hit something i've hit trees and it bends metal and you got to bend it back out that helps with the tensioner uh, uh or, or i mean the breaker bar and utilizing that that can help a lot but anyway i'm going to keep it right there that's just like a quick overview that's just what i carry in my truck for when i'm on the road that goes along the lines with my other kit that i have for keeping warm which i showed you in the bed one but i also have ways of starting fires and and, and whatnot but we'll go into that some other time but this is my mechanical emergency set that i always have it in my truck uh when i'm traveling and especially going to tournaments or just going outdoor activities anyway peace